Hello everybody! It's Tuesday, so I'm starting this a little late. It's also 9.42 at night, Tuesday, so really starting it late, but I was just busy all day today. What did I do today? Oh gosh, I didn't even wake up that late. Went to Starbucks and worked for a long time, put in bids for tomorrow. There was a lot of trips on the board, but I'm also really far down on the list because I already have um, I've already been called out by daily once from being on call and so I have like two or three clicks I think and you get a click for each day that you worked from being called out from daily. For example, <laughs> to make it easier, uh, when I'm on call, like let's say I was rep B and I got called out for a two day trip, then I get two clicks, one click for each day. And the more clicks you have, the further down on the list you go from being called again. Uh, but you, on you only get clicks when you get called out from daily. So if I were to get a trip um, from future, like uh, if I got one of the trips that I put in for, for tomorrow, then I wouldn't get any clicks for those. So because there were so many trips on the board and because I'm so far down on the list from already having a couple clicks when nobody's been flying this month, so nobody else, like very few people have clicks, I put in for a couple good trips, not like they had de really good layovers, uh, there wasn't a lot of them <laughs> and then I put in to be like on call and then I put in a couple OPRs and then I put a long list of other trips that I wouldn't mind getting just in case they had to uh, just in case not enough people bid for trips and they had to like force me into one then I still um, had a list of preferences but I ended up just getting on call so I'll be on call tomorrow I even got rap C and I'm number 24 to be called in Rap C. So uh, it's gonna be for a four day trip or potentially less, but I imagine I'll get called just because people will be calling out of their holiday trips. But at the same time, you also get extra pay. So I'm really not sure. I have no idea how this is going to play out. I'm just sitting down now. I'm gonna watch a couple YouTube videos, wash my face and then disconnect. I'm trying to just read before bed or do something not associated with technology because I sleep so much better that way. Uh, but yeah, I've got for dinner um, spaghetti with uh, turkey. It's with ground turkey and vegan mozzarella cheese. But it's from Trader Joe's and it's pretty good. Like it actually tastes like mozzarella so I'm not too disappointed with that. It's Wednesday the 23rd. I am on call right now. I'm pretty far down on the list or high on the list. I don't know, whichever way you look at it. I am doing my November finances finally. So I've got this nice pile of receipts from the month and my tracking sheet. And I've got Fixer Upper on on the TV bid for tomorrow not a lot of good trips so I put in for a couple and then to just be on call again we'll see what happens our water is currently off apparently the shit shitty <laughs> apparently the city shut down our entire complex and the office doesn't know when it's going to be back on so that's fun, and it's been thunderstorming and kind of a monsoon here all day and yesterday. We actually got flood warnings yesterday morning. <laughs> so I just got a call from scheduling, and I somehow I knew this was going to happen. I knew that because our water went out and I wasn't able to meal prep and get meals done. Oof, my hair. <laughs> that I was going to get a trip. They just created a new late OPR for God knows what reason. So now I have an hour or two get ready, then I have to go to the airport and just sit there for four hours. And like I have hardly, I have like snacks type stuff, but I hardly have any actual food that I could bring with me. And I don't have money to pay for food on a trip right now because flight attendants don't make any money, especially not new flight attendants. 
Well guys, words cannot describe my frustration right now. I am at the short San Francisco again. I have to be back downstairs for the van in seven and a half hours. So there's that. Literally just got in, got to OPR and as soon as it started, they called us and we're thinking that what happened because this crew went illegal because um, they were going to be, their duty day was about to be too long. And they called scheduling when they, what happened is they started in LaGuardia or uh, in Charlotte, they started with a LaGuardia turn. So they went up to LaGuardia and back. Sorry, I'm like trying to under, Dress. Ugh. They went up to LaGuardia, got delayed in New York because of all these storms that were going up and down the East Coast. Called scheduling, and they were like, We are pretty sure, like, right now, we're not getting into Charlotte until this time, and we're supposed to be going out to San Francisco tonight, and that's not gonna happen. Like, we're going to go illegal, but the way that scheduling works is they can't, can't replace the crew until they actually go illegal when it comes to stuff like that. So they knew, scheduling knew that this crew was probably going to go illegal, so created this OPR. I think they must have already known that they were going to use some of the OPRs that were coming in at 7, or maybe those OPRs called out, I don't know. Either way, by 8 o'clock there was only one OPR left at 7 o'clock, so, or they were planning on whatever. They knew, scheduling knew that this crew was going to go illegal. Yeah, we get there and we're just pretty sure that instead of calling people out regularly, they just created an OPR because they only filled three spots for it, which were just enough spots for this damn trip. The second that it started, like at 8 o'clock, they called and they were like, we need you guys to go up there because this is supposed to be departing in 25 minutes. It was supposed to leave like at six something. So then we have a bunch of ornery passengers because they've been sitting around for two hours waiting for this flight to leave. They weren't on the plane the whole time though. So why nobody went and got food and drinks and everything is beyond me. This was one of the most exhausting flights that I think I have ever worked just because everybody wanted several drinks and I just saw a reflection of this and I know I'm like all yellow and it's horrible video quality. If you were sitting in the airport for two hours, I don't know, everybody was just like acting like they were dying of thirst. Why didn't you just go get something when you were in the airport? It is like 12.30 local, so it's 3.30, yes, 3.30. I would have been in bed five hours ago if I would not have gotten called for this and I was going to be rep C for tomorrow and would have been number like 34 so probably wouldn't have gotten used tomorrow but nope now I get this and I don't even get back into Charlotte until 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Tomorrow what we do, no first hold on okay so we do this whole flight whatever like we know we just got screwed into this basically well the one girl was like number two to be called anyway so she knew that she was probably going somewhere and she lives in San Francisco so she gets to go home even though it's just for a few hours hey guys I just got back 10 or 20 minutes ago it's what time is it eight o'clock today was a very very long day I'm very tired I have a headache from being on a plane all day and not getting a lot of sleep last night. It's Christmas Eve. I am not even gonna bother unpacking because I'm on call tomorrow. So I just am taking out like the things that I need and then I don't have to worry about frantically packing a bag like I did yesterday. Merry Christmas my beautiful people. I am on my way to the airport, clearly. I am going to London! And I'm so excited! This totally, kind of, kind of, makes up for the San Francisco flight that I just did. I am just a little nervous though, because this will be three days in a row with very long plane rides. So I am a little nervous about my head. I started to get a headache yesterday from being in the plane all day. 
So I have some painkillers. My migraine medicine, I don't like at all. It basically makes me unusable for an hour. I'm in London. I'm going to nap first though. Whoop. <laughs> and just connected to Wi-Fi, so all of my iMessages are coming through. I am going to nap for an hour or two before I head out and start exploring. I am so excited. It is Boxing Day here, so probably won't hit up any of the sales, but I am going to go to Winter Wonderland in Hyde Park and potentially the Winter Market Festival thing in South Bank or as I'll think, however you want to say it. and the London Eye real quick because they are right over there. And then I'm going to go to Winter Wonderland in Hyde Park. I'm really excited. It would be awesome if I had like a friend or something, but I'm still just excited. chips that I picked up right near the hotel because I was just getting too tired to go to like a legit place <laughs> so and I was really hungry um, and a lot of places were closed because it was like 10 o'clock and it's boxing day so a lot of restaurants are closed anyway I haven't delved into the fish yet so I don't know how it is I'm a little bummed I mean it's my own fault because I slept longer than what I was planning on. Like, I think Winter Wonderland would be a lot of fun if you had just like one other person there with you and I didn't. Cause I mean, it's, it's basically like a carnival. I mean, I enjoyed it, but I'm not really a crowd person and it was packed. I was by myself. So I don't know. I feel bad because like I don't have anything too exciting to like show you guys, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's my own fault. I'm just, exhausted oh well maybe i'll be back again soon this is happening 
So we've got tripod, light, <laughs> because I don't have light box 